Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and if you are new then welcome to the channel. In this video we are going to discuss the natural response of the system when the roots are real and repeated. I have explained what is the natural response of the system if the roots are real and distinct in the previous video. So don't forget to watch that also. You will get to know how the solution of homogeneous differs with respect to the nature of the roots. Now let's discuss a question as I already told you that they will give some initial conditions in the question there is no need to worry about it. So we are going to find out the natural response of the system right. So to find natural response of the system what things are necessary the inputs should be equal to zero and the initial conditions should be considered. So the input things we will equalize to zero then the equation will become 2 y of n minus 1 plus y of n minus 2 is equal to 0. So let's consider this equation as 2 and this as 1. Now what we will do is this is a second order homogeneous equation. So now this is a second order homogeneous but general uh, form of homogeneous equation is y h of n is equals to lambda to the power of n. Let's consider it this as equation 3. Now what we will do is we will substitute the equation 3 in equation 2. So we will get lambda to the power of n plus 2 into lambda to the power of n minus 1 plus lambda n minus 2 and this is equals to 0. Now let's separate this lambda to the power of n minus 2. How can we do that? We will take it common. Then we'll get lambda square plus 2 into lambda plus 1 and this is equal to 0. Now we will take this term as equal to 0. So we will get lambda square plus 2 lambda plus 1 equal to 0. So now when we solve this equation we will get roots of the lambda as minus 1 comma minus 1. That means we have two roots which are real and also are repeated. So how can we write the homogeneous equation of this kind of roots? So as the roots are real and repeated, we will write the homogeneous equation yh of n is equals to c1 lambda 1 power n plus c2 lambda 2 power n and we will multiply n over here and again just leave it. We are only having two roots, right? So for two roots, this is enough. Then we will write c1 then lambda is minus 1 power n plus c2 n minus 1 to the power n. So we can take minus 1 to the power n as common. Then we will write c1 c2 into n and then minus 1 whole to the power of n. So this is the homogeneous equation. Now we will find out the c1 and c2 values over here. Then this equation will become natural response. Consider this equation as our fourth equation. Now what we will do is we will substitute n is equals to 0 in equation 4 and now in equation 4 we will get y of 0 is equals to c1 plus c2 then it is 0 then we have minus 1 to the power of 0 so we will get c1 and minus 1 to the power anything power 0 is equal to 1 only so have so we have c1 now if i put n is equals to 1 then what we will get y of 1 is equals to c1 and then plus c2 into 1 and minus 1 to the power of n. So we have c1 plus c2 and we have a minus over here. So we can write it as minus c1 minus c2. So we got two equations over here. So now we will take this second equation and in this we will substitute n is equals to 0 and n is equals to 1 to get some more equations to get c1 and c2 values. So let's do that. So this was the second equation right what we will do over here that we will substitute n is equals to 0 in this equation and we will get y of 0 plus 2 y of 0 minus 1 minus 1 plus y of 0 minus minus 2 is equals to minus 2. So we will get minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we will substitute n is equals to 1 in this equation. So we will get y of 1 plus 2 y of 1 minus 1 0 plus y of 1 minus 2 will get minus 1 this is equal to 0 now as is already we have y of minus 1 and minus 2 values in the 
initial conditions so we will substitute those values we will get 2 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 so y of 0 is equal to minus 3 and now here we got the y of 0 value and this is from the initial condition so y of 1 plus 2 into minus 3 plus y of 1 value was 1 so we will get this is equal to 0 we will get y of 1 minus 6 plus 1 equal to 0 so this is minus 5 so we'll get y of 1 is equals to plus 5 so as we got two equations over here that is y of 0 equal to minus 3 and y of 1 is equals to 5 we will substitute these values in the previous equations that we got for c1 and c2 let's consider uh, this as equation 5 and this as equation 6 so we will write these equations and we will substitute the values over here so substituting in equation 5 and 6 we get y of 0 that is equals to uh, c1 right then this minus 3 is equals to c1 then we got c1 value as minus 3 and again one more equation was minus c1 and minus c2 now here we got uh, y of 1 is equals to plus 5 so we will substitute plus 5 is equals to minus c1 minus c2 and previously we got c1 value that is minus 3 so 5 is equals to minus of minus 3 minus c2 and this we will get 5 equal to 3 minus c2 and if i shift it over here then we will get um, minus 2 is equals to c2 then c2 is equals to 2 so we got c1 and c2 values we will substitute these in our homogeneous equation then this homogeneous equation will become natural response so our homogeneous equation was um, c1 plus c2 into n and at the outside we had minus 1 whole to the power of n so c1 value is minus 3 plus c2 value is 2 into n and then we have this lambda value as minus 1 to the power of n so this is our natural response and this is for all n greater than or equal to 0 never forget to write this thing because this is very important so that's how we get the natural response of the system we first got the homogeneous equation according to the uh, nature of the roots and then we substituted n equal to 0 and n equal to 1 in this homogeneous equation again we substituted n equal to 0 and 1 in this starting equation and we equated it and we got the c1 and c2 values after getting c1 and c2 values we substituted in this equation after substituting in this homogeneous equation this homogeneous equation converts into natural response so this is our final natural response of the system so simple right not too hectic we can easily do this if you know uh, what is the procedure because if you don't know what is the procedure you will surely get confused and you will get nervous in the examination hall so to know those things Please watch my first video which was LCCDE, Linear Constant Coefficient Differential Equation. Then you will know the procedure, how to calculate these things, how to go forward. So that's how we calculate the natural response of the system. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Best luck for your exams. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it motivates me to make more such videos. Even I'm putting my all efforts. If you don't even like and subscribe to my channel, then why will I make videos? it's worthless so that's why do those two small things and uh, share this video to your friends so that they will also get benefited and they can also score good marks in their exams so yeah that's it for today meet you in the next video thanks for watching